Hi, this is Usha. Welcome to Rathod's IAS. So today, this is the last part of this prelims UPSC 2022 analysis. So here in this video, we are going to see answers from 71 to 100 questions. So now let us try to see the first question that is 71st question. So in India, which of the following compiles information on industrial disputes, closures, retrenchments and layout in factories employing workers? So here option A is Central Statistical Office. Next one is Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade. Next one is Labor Bureau and inter uh, third last one here is National Technical Manpower Information System. So that option is C, Labor Bureau. And the next question is regarding Coal Controllers Organization. As you all know that there are a number of news regarding coal crisis which is mainly faced by these thermal power plants. So because of this, this coal controllers organization is in use and there is question which appeared. So here this coal controllers organization is a major source of coal statistics in the government of India. So if you know some details regarding this coal controller organization that is CC. CEO. It mainly formed in year 1960. It is one of the oldest office. Okay, oldest office in India regarding this coal sector. So actually, if you are talking about some important functions of this uh, organization, then that is coal controllers organization, which is mainly focusing on monitoring and it will be also ensuring that it's a fair production and as well as a commercial transactions are mainly happening and next one is also talking about data so it will be maintaining data and this data will be connected on a monthly basis and it also acts as an appellate authority if there is any dispute uh, between especially consumer and as well as owner but it will be not dealing with the government's related notifications and it will be also focusing on this quality as well so if you see the statements now you can easily answer the question so cco is a major source of coal statistics in the government of india yes and this one is it monitor the progress of development of this cap to coal or lignite blocks yes and here's any obligation actually it is acting as an appellate authority regarding if there is any dispute between this consumer and as well as owner but not regarding this government notification so you can eliminate this and also ensure that coal mining companies deliver the coal to end users in a prescribed time yes so that option is one two and four option d is correct answer and next question is regarding polity that is uh, regarding fifth schedule of indian constitution so 73rd question is if a particular area is bought under fifth schedule of indian constitution so which one of the following statements best reflects the consequence of it so this would prevent the transfer of land of tribal to non-tribal people and next one is this would create local self-governing body actually this fifth and sixth uh, schedules which are mainly talking about this local self-governing body especially in these tribal areas we have this tribal advisory council that is TAC so option B is correct answer and option C is it would convert area into unit that it is not at all next one is state having such areas would be declared as special category state not at all so correct option is B itself and 74th question is consider the following statements regarding this India sanitation coalition so actually if you are talking about this Indian uh, san India sanitation coalition which is mainly formed with an objective that is to bring all the stakeholders like NGO so and so in this sanitation field to a one platform and they can share their information and they can come up with best practices so this india sanitation coalition is a platform it is mainly focusing to promote sustainable sanitation yes this is right and it is mainly funded by government of india and world health organization but it is not funded by here government of india but it is by government of maharashtra it is funding along with this government of maharashtra even bill and Melinda gates foundation they are funding so because of this this first statement will be incorrect and next one is the national institute of urban affairs it is an apex body of the ministry of housing and urban affairs in government of india and provides innovative solutions to address the challenges of urban india yes this statement is correct so correct option is b2 only and next question here it is regarding environment protection act of 1986 so it is a very simple question so which one of the following has been constituted under this environment protection act of 1986 so it is central ground water authority option c is correct answer and next one it is regarding united nations credentials committee so with reference to this united nations credential committee consider the following statements 
So first one is it is a committee set up by United Nations Security Council but it is not set up by UNSC but UNG United Nations General Assembly will be setting up this. So first statement is incorrect and it traditionally meets March, June and September actually whenever it is coming up with a meet okay UNGA meeting so it will be come it will be uh, coming up with this committee so once in every year this is also incorrect and this credential committee which mainly access the credentials of all united nations members before submitting a report to general assembly for approval yes this statement is correct so if you see here general assembly and here you can see there is some contrast between this first statements and third statement and you can easily identify the correct answer for this question so that answer will be a3 only and the next question is regarding polar code so which one of the following statements best describes this polar code so option a is it is the international code of safety for ships operating in the polar waters option b is it is the agreement of countries around the north pole regarding demarcation of their territories in the polar region and next one is it is a set of norms to be followed by the countries who scientists undertake research studies in north pole and south pole next one is it is a trade and security agreement of members of countries of arctic council actually this code which is an international code which is mainly focusing on safety for ship who which are operating in this polar waters so option a is correct answer and 78 question here it is regarding UNG United Nation General Assembly so there are number of questions which mainly uh, asked in this year regarding United Nations like credential committee and as well as General Assembly so there are many questions regarding your current affairs and the first statement here is United Nation General Assembly can grant observer status to the non-member states yes of course and next one is intergovernmental organization can seek observer status in the United Nation General Assembly yes Next one is permanent observers in this United Nations General Assembly. They can maintain missions at United Nations headquarters. Yes. So that option is 1, 2 and 3. That is D is correct answer. And next question is 79th. It is regarding T board in India. So there are two questions regarding this T. Okay. This year. So with reference to the T board in India, consider the following statements. So T board, it is a statutory body. Yes, actually this T board which is mainly came into establishment after this uh, T Act, T Act of 1953 and headquarters which is located in this Kolkata, not in Bangalore, you can eliminate this statement. Actually, it is a regulatory body which is attached not to this Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, it is mainly, agri uh, which is mainly attached to this Ministry of Commerce and Industry. So this second statement is also incorrect and T and the board uh, has overseas office at Dubai and Moscow. So this is correct. So that right, option is 1 and 4. Option D is correct answer. And next question is regarding greenwashing. Okay. So which one of the following best describes the term greenwashing? So conveying a false impression that a company products are ecologically eco-friendly and environmentally sound. And non-inclusion of ecological environment cost in the annual financial statements of a country. And option C is ignoring the disastrous ecological consequences while understanding infrastructure development. And option D is making mandatory provisions for environmental cost in a government project or program. So the correct option is option A. It is mainly talking about false impression that is mainly created in the people or in the consumers okay that we are saying that they are ecologically friendly and as well as environmentally sound so this option a is a correct suits this greenwashing okay so now let us try to see next question that is 81st question question is consider the following statements high clouds primarily reflect solar radiation and cools the surface of earth High, low clouds have a high absorption of infrared radiation emanating from the earth's surface and thus cause warming effect. Yes, if you have studied heat budget, so in that we will be having one diagram. So yes, clouds, they will be going to reflect the solar radiation. So we know that high clouds, especially cirrus clouds, they will be reflecting the solar radiation. So whenever they are reflecting the solar radiation, automatically that will be going to cool the surface. But if the if in our atmosphere, okay, especially in the troposphere, so if you are having lower clouds means they will be absorbing high amount of infrared radiation and that will lead to causing of a warming effect. 
so whenever there is cloudy means you will be feeling sweaty sweaty so because of this reason so correct option here is c both one and two and next question it is a difficult question so consider the following statements bd bd is a large refuse settlement in northwestern kenya it is not in kenya it is in uganda so you can eliminate this statement and some people who fled from south sudan civil war they live in this bd bd yes this is correct and next one is some people who fled from civil war in somalia live in this dadaab refuse complex in kenya yes so that option is c here 2 and 3 are correct and next one is important question it is also seen in news so consider the following countries armenia azerbaijan croatia romania uzbekistan so which of the above are the members of organization of turkic states so it is also called as turkic council as well and it is a cooperation council of turkic speaking states okay so in this we will be having five countries as members first one is azerbaijan kazakhstan uzbekistan kyrgyzstan and turkey so here we have azerbaijan and uzbekistan so correct option is 2 and 5 that is option c is correct answer and next question is consider the following statements gujarat has largest solar park in india but this largest solar park which is located in rajasthan not in gujarat that is badla solar plant kerala has fully solar power international airport so this statement is correct and goa has largest floating solar photovoltaic project in india so recently the solar uh, floating volt uh, floating uh, photovoltaic project that is seen in news it is not in goa it is in andhra pradesh that is it is located in this ntpc ntpc okay uh, it, that is mainly located in this andhra pradesh so this statement is also incorrect so correct option will be b2 only and next question it is very very simple and i discussed this topic number of times whenever we discussed hindu analysis so with reference to united nations convention on law of sea consider the following statements so first one is a coastal state which has right to establish the breadth of its territorial territorial sea up to limit not exceeding 12 nautical miles which is mainly measured from the baseline okay so from baseline till 12 nautical miles we have this territorial waters and next one is ships of all states whether coastal or land locked enjoy the right of innocent passage through territorial area yes article 19 of this unclause which mainly talks about this innocent passage and next one is exclusive economic zone that shall not extend beyond 200 nautical miles from the baseline yes this is very very important okay and this is also correct so correct option will be 1 2 and 3 and next question it is regarding senkaku islands already i discussed the senkaku islands in also in our hindu analysis so with one of the following statements best reflects the issue with this senkaku islands sometimes mentioned in news so it is generally believed that there are artificial islands made by country around the south china sea so china and japan they engage in maritime disputes over these islands in east china sea so a permanent american military base had been set up there to help taiwan to increase its defense capabilities though international court of justice declared them no man's land some southeast asian countries claiming that so actually it is a disputed islands between china and japan so option b is correct answer so it's a very very simple question and next question is somewhat difficult so if you are following current affairs then only you can answer this type of question so here consider the following page country is given an important reason behind why they are in news so chad it is set because of setting up of permanent military base by china actually it is not chad but is equatorial guinea and next one is guinea suspension of constitution government by military yes next one is lebanon for severe and prolonged economic depression yes tunisia suspension of parliament or by president so here 2 3 or 3 and 4 are correct so there are totally three pages which are correct so correct option is c and next question is 88 
so here this type of question which appeared in 2018 okay that in, at that time also they given the places and the countries in the same manner and they they ask to identify the correct pairs and after four five years we got again this type of question so consider the following pairs region often mentioned in news and country and anatolia yes it is located in turkey and amhara it is located in ethiopia but this cabo dilago which is not located in spain so catalonia which is located in spain okay so actually we discussed about this catalonia number of times because of uh, we got many editorials in hindu regarding this topic and this cabo dilago uh, which is mainly located in this mozambique so correct pairs are one and two so we have two pairs so correct option is b and next question is regarding indian laws about wildlife protection so with reference to indian laws about wildlife protection consider the following statements so first one is wild animals they are the sole property of government and next one is when a wild animal is declared protected such animal is entitled for equal protection whether it is found in protected areas or outside next one is apprehension of a protected wild animal becoming a danger to human life is sufficient ground for its capture or killing so here the correct option will be okay here the correct option will be okay here the correct option will be a that is one and two so wild animals are sole property of government and here whenever there is any protected animal which is becoming danger to human life for example you can talk about tiger attacks whenever you are talking about man animal conflict we are not capturing and we are not killing them right so here this third statement we can eliminate so correct option will be a one and two and next question is certain species of which one of the following organisms they are well known as cultivators of fungi so actually there is some relationship between insects and fungi okay insects and fungi and we are having some hyper uh, hyper diverse group like insects and as well as fungi we can see and some insects they will be depending on the fungi for wide range of reasons for example ant grass uh, ant wasp and as well as uh, you can talk about beetles beetles wasp and ants they are mainly helpful for the cultivators of fungi so correct option here is a ant next question is it is mainly based on ashoka's major rock edits so as you all know this ashoka's rock at this important topic so there is question so question here is consider the following pairs they gave the site of ashoka's major rock edicts and the location in the state so this is very simple so dauli in odisha yes eragudi in andhra pradesh yes jugada it is not located in madhya pradesh jugada is in again odisha and kalsi it is not located in karnataka it is located in at present uttarakhand so here how many pairs are correct two pairs so correct option is b only two pairs and next question is consider the following pairs here one side you have kings and one side you have dynasty so this is also very easy so if you know the serial uh, serial number like so who are the kings who came in order then you can easily answer this question so nanuka he is founder of chandela dynasty and jay shakti is also belongs to chandela but not paramas and nagabatta he belongs to gujara pratiharas and boja he belongs to paramas so again two pairs are correct here so correct option is b only two pairs and next question is which of the following statements about sangam literature in ancient south india is correct so option a is sangam poems are devoid of any reference to material culture and option b is the social classification of varna was known to sangam poets and next one is sangam poems have no reference to warrior ethic next one is sangam literature refers to magical forces is as irrational so actually the best one is option b that is the social classification of varna was known to sangam poets and now let us try to see this 94th question okay next question is 94 so question here is yoga vasistha was translated into persian by nizamuddin panipati during the reign of actually this yoga vasistha which is having number of names like maha ramayana arsha ramayana like that so actually this yoga vasistha which made it translated into persian by this nizamuddin panipat during the reign of akbar so option a is correct option and next question it is the world second largest statue in uh, sitting position of ramanuja 
was inaugurated by Prime Minister of India at Hyderabad recently. So, which one of the following statements correctly represents the teaching of Ramanuja? So, so we discussed about this Ramanuja when number of times when we discussed our Hindu analysis. At that time, I I said that you have to focus on the facts regarding this Ramanuja. You can get a question. Yes, the question appeared in the news in this paper. So the option A is the best means of salvation was devotion. So Vedas are eternal, self-existent and wholly authoritative. Logical arguments are essential means of highest bliss. Salvation was to be obtained through meditation. So here salvation was mainly obtained through devotion. Okay. So option A, the best means of salvation was devotion. So option A is correct answer. And next question is, the Prime Minister recently inaugurated new circuit house near Somanath temple at Veravul. Which of the following statements are correct regarding the Somnath temple? I already discussed about the Somnath temple in the recent current fights. And the first statement here is Somnath temple is one of the Jyotir Linga shrines. Yes, we discussed that point. And next one is a description of Somnath temple was given by Alberuni. So this will be related to our history. And Pran, uh, and Pran Pratishta of Somnath temple, that is installation of this present day temple was done by President S. Radhakrishnan. But it is not by S. Radhakish, it is done by Dr. Rajendra Prasad. So here third statement is incorrect. So correct option is A, 1 and 2 only. And next question, it is regarding B cells and T cells. So number of times, especially in the Sunday's newspaper analysis, we discussed about this B cells and T cells. So which one of the following statements best describes the role of B cells and T cells in the human body? Option A is they protect the body from environmental allergens. So they will be having no role in environment allergens and they will alleviate body's pain and inflammation. No. Next one is they act as immunosuppressant, but they will act as to boost the immunity. So it, this term is absolutely wrong and they protect the body from the disease caused by pathogens. So whenever pathogens are entering into our body, so they are antigens. So our, our antigens will be recognized by these B cells and T cells. Right? So, in this way, they will protect our body from disease caused by pathogens. So, option D is correct answer. And next question is, consider the following statements. So, other than those made by humans, nanoparticles do not exist in nature. Yes, nanoparticles do exist in nature. So, this statement is incorrect. So, nanoparticles of some metallic oxides, they are used in manufacturing of some cosmetics. Yes, in some cosmetics especially. If you're talking about sunscreen lotions and even you can talk about uh, face washes, there we can use this nanoparticles, especially scrubs. Next one is nanoparticles of some commercial products which enter environment are unsafe for humans. Yes. So that option will be D, 2 and 3. And next question is consider the following statements regarding DNA barcoding. DNA barcoding, it is a tool. It is mainly talking about applications of this DNA barcoding. So, first one is access the age of plant or animal. So, it is having no role in accessing age of plant or animal. And it will be helpful for distinguish of uh, species that look alike. Yes. Identify undesirable animal or plant materials in processed foods. Yes. So, correct option will be 2 and 3. And the correct option here is option D. And the last question here is consider the following. It is a very, very simple question. Carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxide, ox ozone, sulfur dioxide. So, excess of which, which of the above in environment, they are the cause of acid rains. So, that is nitrogen and as well as sulfur dioxide. So, correct option is B2 and 4 only. So, these are the answers for the questions from 71 to 100. So, by this we are winding up today. So, I am very, very glad that there are number of questions from current FIs that appeared in this year's prelims. So, if you have followed our analysis, at least you might have recognized at least one or two statements which are given in the questions. Okay. So, students who are getting low marks, so please don't demotivate. So, try again. Okay. Try harder and try to clear next year prelims. Okay. So, please don't demotivate. So, by this I am concluding. Thank you so much and please subscribe to Rathor Science Academy and don't forget to like, share and comment my videos. Thank you so much.